a new day, a new project. And finally, here we have the measurement microphone for recording studios. This is a Sonarworks XRF20. It's an individually calibrated measurement microphone and I really hope this will help me with getting a better sound in this room. You know, I can't do anything, any kind of sonic dumping for now. So my only hope for a little better sound is this machinery here. So you can see I already had the microphone on a kind of stand this is my improvisating <laughs> improvisation stand and I'm using TC Helicon like a sound card. To do that you need to uninstall all the ACO drivers from your computer. Of course you need to install the reference 4 software and uh, let me show you how to use this one for having the right signals. You can see it's already working. The point is that this kind of uh, pattern when it's in use like a sound card uh, it have a strange behavior you can't turn the monitor off. So somehow I have to trick the software. I'm gonna have the output from the laptop sound card real tech high definition sound card and I'll have the input through the TC Helicon. Now I have to do some changings also in the computer some settings changings and we have some tweakings to do over here because this system it's working only with 44.1 kilohertz so let's have the playback speakers here are already set to 44 kilohertz this is nice but for recording because I'm going through this analog connector voice live GTX I have to set it to 16 bit 44 kilohertz you see the native was 48 kilohertz and uh, that should be all for now. The point is that we have to open uh, Sonarworks reference in a special mode and this is Wasapi mode. The software will measure now for sure and do all this calibration stuff. And just follow the steps. Phantom, make sure single audio interface audio. Okay, next. This is a special number right on each of the microphones. And here we have the response curve of the microphone. And of course here we have the setup. You can see we already have the microphone installed and let's test the output. Please adjust the volume of your output device. My voice should sound at normal conversation volume. Nice. Left speaker. Right speaker. Perfect. So they are saying the software feels that there are different inputs and outputs but I'll continue anyway. Now I have to adjust the microphone gain, but I'll put the microphone in a position where I'm usually listening to. So it should be like here in this spot. Okay, so it's like this. Yeah, it's looking okay now. Let's go further. And let's follow the steps. I'm sitting, yeah, that should be the right position. Too much gain. Okay, it's looking good now. So we have to adjust, we can measure the distance between your speakers. Next, position the microphone one or two centimeters from the center of the mid-range driver. Okay, how I'm gonna do that? Something like this? Yeah, I think so. Next. Stay where you are. Measurements in progress. Left speaker done. Okay, so now we go to the right. Hmm, it's easy to say that. Stay where you are. Measurements in progress. Right speaker done. Okay, so this is done. 147 centimeters. Let me see. So we should have from the middle of the loudspeakers 147. Okay, that's absolutely okay. That's interesting. Maybe I should have 149. Looks good. Locate your listening spot is this one over here, like I said before. 
73 centimeters 73 let's see so we have 73 from there we have 83 centimeters looks good so now we have to to move the microphone in different positions and let's start measuring Oh, this is really, this is painful, <laughs> I can say. So it took a lot of time to have the measurements done, but finally it's done. So let's see what's the next step. Show the results. Okay, let's see the results. Oh my God. <laughs> and of course, the most important was this uh, peak at 130. 30 hertz 100 around 130 hertz you see this one over here this was the most uh, important thing and uh, vo1 that's my yamaha loudspeakers save and finish nice so this is done and we are okay now i have this one here and uh, let me see how i'm using this create new open profile Bio Yamaha. Let me test the output. Left, right. Perfect, it's working. And here we have the preset done. Beautiful. All I have to do now is to have some uh, music. Okay, so after uh, almost one hour testing, I got the final result. Let me show you the simulated after. So this is the curve I got now, the frequency response now. And let's see if it's really doing something. And I'm gonna play a record of mine. A lot of acoustic guitars and uh, very crude instruments. recording by the microphones to feel the difference no correction on the mixer Frequencies here in this area are very round and fat, and uh, that that peak over here, 130 hertz, around 130 hertz. Now it's flat, so I don't have those uh, crazy resonance, you know, uh, on that frequency, and also. I gain a lot of frequencies between, uh, let's say, 50 Hz and, uh, and this one here, and that's like uh, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, from 80 Hz to 200, all this area now it's flat, and that's why the bass is much more deep and profound but not boomy. Piano sound is much more 
round and fat. So overall, I can say that uh, it's, an, it's a really good improvement. And uh, for now I'm happy with that because I have no possibilities for, uh, for uh, a better acoustic uh, isolation in this room. It will be someday. I have a lot of changing to do here, to change my working desk, to change my computer for a desktop and so many others. But for now I'm really happy with this solution. I hope it's useful. Please like, subscribe and I'm waiting your comments. Don't uh, hesitate to write and ask uh, if I can help. It will be my pleasure. And uh, the most important thing, don't forget to have fun and be safe. Bye bye. Thank you.